I stadsdelen Knightsbridge här i London bor Harleys gitarrist Tony Hicks. Han har ett litet så kallat Muse House helt för sig själv och dit är vi nu inbjudna. På vägen dit några sekunder av He ain't heavy, he's my brother. Inte med The Hollies utan med amerikanen Kelly Gordon som faktiskt spelar in den före Hollies. Rivstart av Kelly Gordon. friends, our friends in uh, Stockholm, Sweden, anywhere Sweden. Uh, this is Tony Hicks of The Holly speaking. Hi. <laughs> well, Tony, they are all with you right now. And uh, I mean, this place, it's your place. It's kind of small for all the Swedish listeners. What, my house? Mm. Oh, um, well, I don't know. It's uh, It's got a lot of floors. You've only seen half of it, really. It goes up and up and up. It's like a hotel, basically. How many rooms have you got? Um, there's um, three bedrooms upstairs and a bathroom and then it goes up onto the roof and there's a little garden and things, you know. And uh, and then there's obviously there's another two floors downstairs and things with the garage and things. It's, uh, it's it's quite big enough for me. It's The main thing is it's very, very quiet and pretty, you know. It's all very quaint. I prefer that than a big flat, you know. I, I prefer to live in a house like this than in a flat. Well, still, you're not very far away from the centre of town either. Oh, well, that's the main advantage. I mean, it really is right in the middle of town. Knightsbridge, you couldn't get nearer the middle of the town, really. How long have you been here? Three years. Right, that's about your house. Yes, it's quite about records. <laughs> <laughs> what about this uh, song, He Ain't Heavy? We just heard it. Did you ever hear it sung by anybody else before? Well, I think I did, actually. I didn't realise it had been released, because I heard it in a publisher's office, and I heard it in a demo form. I thought it was just a songwriter who had written it, you know. Um, I presume that must be what you mean, but that's the only version I've ever heard, yeah. I don't even remember who it was by, though. After Sorry Susanne, this is uh, kind of new Hollis. Well, that, that must be true to some extent. We very rarely release a slow song. I think it's mainly different from the point of view that whereas our normal kind of hit record is it's a very commercial song and the lyrics are very simple. You don't have to think hard to understand it and it makes you happy so people buy it, I think. Whereas this one is slightly slower, I think it's got a, a much stronger melody, maybe not as instantly appealing, but I think the main difference is the words are very meaningful and, um, and there's a message in it as opposed to just speaking about nothing as uh, a lot of our records tend to do. But Tony, obviously you're very pleased that this single has done so well. Oh, I'd have been very, very disappointed if it hadn't done, because it does mean that the people who buy our records now will allow us to try something a little different, if you understand what I mean. It means we can do something which, obviously we must have thought it was good, but it is different, and I wouldn't have been surprised if our normal record buyers had thought, oh, well, it's not the normal Hollis thing, I don't like it, which they didn't do. They accepted it, and I, it makes me very happy. So, Tony, you said now you can do something different. You have, in fact, because you've got a new album. Um, yes, this is different from uh, the last one, the Bob Dylan thing, from what well, from the point of view, it's all our own songs. Um, that's, well, that's the main difference, really, I suppose. And on this album, there are songs by the Hollis themselves, all of them. Yes, um, Alan... Terry, Bernie and myself, yeah. Bernie's uh, hasn't written before, but he's got a very beautiful uh, instrumental on here. He plays very, very nice piano, and it's uh, a, song, a song called, it's not a song, it's an instrumental called uh, Reflections of a Long Time Past, which is really nice. We'll return to this album on Sunday, but as for today, Thursday, we pick another track, for example. Please sign your letters, yeah, yeah. Um, i don't know, we, we always tend to do a lot of songwriting in Sweden for some reason. I think partly because we're always very happy when we're, when we're in your country for various reasons. And this one was uh, written that when we were um, touring around the folk parks and things last, uh, last summer. It's, um, it's a country, country and western kind of feel and uh, well played, it's what you think of it. <laughs> 